morning, children. How are all of you? Are you all doing great? Put your hands up. You're doing great. I hope all of you are doing great and staying healthy, okay? So today, we are going to do a little bit something special because we are going to do an artwork. But before that, do you know that actually something really bad happened this morning? Yes, and teacher Zana is a little bit sad. You know why? Do you remember the puppy that uh the puppy that we look uh, the puppy that we talked about in our previous lesson? Right? We have the cat and also the puppy. Something really bad happened to the puppy, you know. Yes. A little boy was playing a bicycle, was cycling, and then this puppy was uh, this puppy was uh, the puppy was just walking towards the towards the playground and so is the boy and then what happened? Yes, the boy crashed into the puppy. Okay, and you know what happened to the puppy? The puppy got hurt. Yes, it was bleeding on the nose. There's a little scratch on the nose, bleeding on the ears and also on the forehead. Mm -hmm. So now the puppy is sick. Okay, so what did teacher Zana do just now? So when I saw the puppy was bleeding, I took the puppy and I took our first aid kit. You know the first aid kit? Sometimes when we go outdoor, we will bring the little green bag. Yes, and I took some plasters inside. So, now, the puppy actually has... Yes, the puppy has actually plasters on it. We got, we got how many plasters do we have? One, two, and three. One on the nose, one on the ear, and another one on the... Another one on the forehead. Now, the puppy is sick. And we are going to think about ways to, yes, we are going to think about ways to take care of the little puppy. Alright, so this is what we are going to do. I want you to think of ways to take care of your sick pet. For an example, your pet is the little puppy. Now, I want you to think of ways, how do you want to take care of your sick puppy? Okay, maybe I will probably give you around 5 seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, how long do you want to, you want to uh, take care of your sick puppy? Ah, but before that, I do not want to hear you saying, uh, let him eat, let him play, shower him. Uh, no, I want you to say in a proper and a full, and in a full sentence. Say, I, one finger is facing, can. What can you do? And then your answer. And then what do, you, what do we put at the end of the uh, sentence? We put a question mark. No, right? When do we use question mark? Yes, we use question mark when we are asking somebody a question. Have you eaten? Where have you been? Why are you so late? You see, it's a question. That is when we put a question mark. But when it's a sentence, we will put a full stop at the end. Okay? So, what can you do to help your sick pet? Mm, what can you do? Let me think. If I have a sick pet, I would shower him every day. I will shower my pet every day because I want to keep my pet very clean. So there is no germs and no bacteria coming to him. So over here I can say, I can shower my pet every day. Okay, what else? Imagine your pet, your pet is very sick and is trying to recover slowly. What will it need to recover very uh, to recover faster? Will it need a lot of ice cream? No. Will it need a lot of chocolates? No. What will it need? A lot of what? A lot of healthy food, right? Very good. So over here, I can say, I can feed. My pet healthy food. What else? 
Make sure your pet is sick. What else can you do? Hmm. Ah, I know what I can do. I can read a storybook. shower my pet, I can feed my pet with a lot of healthy food and I can read a storybook to him. What else? Hmm, maybe one more. Okay? What else can we do? Hmm, a sick pet. What would a sick pet need? No, right? Pets have fur. So I can call my pets fur. Yeah, so later on, you can write anything that you want over here and then you can think of any, you can turn to your partner and I want you to think with your partner, what else can we do to take care of our sick pet? Look at that. Poor thing, right? Got plasters all over. What can we do to take care of our sick pet? Okay? So, this is what I will, I want you to write later on. But, so, after this, the teacher is going to give you a piece of drawing block. I will take my piece of drawing block. This is what you will need. A piece of drawing block. A glue and also a piece of newspaper. It can be newspaper, it can be um, it can be newspaper or it can be magazine. Okay, the Chinese magazine that uh, sometimes you have a lot right at the Chinese corner, so you can take one. You either use the magazine or use a piece of newspaper. This is what we are going to do. We are actually going to draw a collage. Ah, what is a collage? Who knows what a collage ends up? Mm, some of you don't know, right? I think most of you don't know what's a collage. A collage is actually making a picture out of newspaper, out of magazine. But how do you make a picture out of newspaper and magazine? Okay, this is how we are going to do it. Jujana is going to show it to you, okay? First, I need you to take a piece of drawing block. And what do you draw on a piece of drawing block? Uh, what do you draw? Yes, you can draw your sick pet. Sometimes your sick, uh, sometimes you have, who has pets at home? Right, sometimes you have, uh, you have a cat at home. Sometimes you have a fish at home. Sometimes you have a dog at home. Okay, so imagine your pet is very sick. Okay, so now I want you to draw a picture of your own, of your own puppet, uh, of your own pet. Okay. In this picture, I am for Shizana, I am going to draw the, the puppy. Okay? The sick puppy over here. Okay? So over here, you can see that Shizana has already drawn a, a puppy. Okay? Do I want you to draw very, very small in the middle? No, I want you to draw as big as Shizana here. Okay? Not so big until you've got no space to draw. But big enough to fill up the whole paper. Okay? Alright, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take a piece of a piece of newspaper and I want do I want to take do I want to see you tearing so big? No, you're going to just tear it into small, small little pieces. Start from the side first, okay? We're going to tear it into small little pieces. We are going to take a glue. And we are going to stick it just like this. There, we're going to glue to the side, and we're going to paste it inside the inside the drawing, just like this. Okay. But firstly, you must finish your 
you must finish your drawing first. And it has to be big. If it's not big, you cannot fit all the newspaper inside. So it has to be big enough for you to fit all the newspaper. Okay, first you draw your drawing. You put it by the side. And then you continue tearing the, tearing the pieces of paper. You place the pieces of paper outside the drawing. Here. You place it over there. No, you place it in inside. There. Can you see? Alright, and I want you to place it carefully so that it doesn't go out of the out of the drawing. Okay? Let me show you how. Put some glue again. So this is what. This is how we do it. Then we place it nicely inside. See? Look at it. Uh, look at how I did it. You see all the newspaper going out of the drawing? No, everything is inside the drawing. Okay? And I also don't want to see so big of the. I don't want to see you pasting big, big pieces of paper. Okay, it has to be smaller pieces of paper. Then, put it again. Uh oh. Then you're going to paste. You're going to paste it. Ta da! See? Alright, you are going to cover the whole picture with newspaper. Only after you are done, you can go to the teachers and ask the teachers for permission to go and take a marker and outline for me the outline for me the picture. Okay, all right, can again? Okay, I do not want to see uh, the I do not want to see the drawing so small in the middle. Okay, I want it to be as big as mine. You see, teachers are not occupy the whole drawing block. Correct or not? Right. And it's not even too big that I cannot draw anything. As long as it is inside the drawing block, it is fine. Okay? Then you can continue pasting over here, over here. And you have to be very, very careful. So, to ensure that it looks very neat by not pasting it outside the drawing. Okay? So, everything has to be in, has to be inside. Okay? So, I want you to draw your own pet. If you don't have a pet, it's okay. Just imagine what kind of pet would you like? If you like to, if you wish to have a fish, you can draw a fish over here. Yeah, and pretend that your fish is very sick. Okay, after you have done with all the collage over here, pretend that all of it is completed already. What do you do next? Ah, this is what I want you to do. On top over here, at the top, right? Make sure at the bottom where there is space. I want you to write, how would you take care of your sick pet? So you can say, I can shower my pet every day. Or I can feed my pet healthy food. Or I can read a storybook to my pet. Oh, I forgot the letter K at the pet. Or you can say, I can comb my pet's fur. Or you don't have to follow teachers, Anna. You can think of any other ways you can take care of your pet. For an example, you can play with your pet. You can um, you can pet your uh, your pet to sleep. You can uh, bring your pet to the beach. Anything, anything. Uh, you can think of of how to keep your pet healthy because your pet is sick, right? Okay. So after you are done with everything, and then teachers Anna will give you up. And then you will have to write the sentence over here. So I can whatever the one uh, whatever ideas that you have. Okay, if you don't know how to spell, it's okay. You can ask from your teacher. Okay, I'm sure that uh, in school there are, there are sometimes there are not enough glue, right? So you will have to share it with your friends. Okay, for the magazine, sometimes you can use the magazine, or sometimes you can also use newspaper. But again, okay, look at how teachers are not doing it. See? Neatly inside the inside the picture. I do not want you to paste the whole chunk of newspaper inside here. Okay. So who remembers what is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, what is this artwork called? Are we doing painting? Are we doing drawing? Yeah, drawing maybe a little bit over here. But what is pasting of newspaper on the paper uh, on the picture called? It's called. Uh, what is it? 
Nobody remembers. What is it? Call. Yes, it's what we call a collage. Okay. So firstly, you have to draw first. Draw until finish. Then you can. Then you can start doing your artwork. Okay. After you you are done with your artwork, then you can take a marker and you can you can hide. Uh, you can uh, outline everything over here. And if you want to draw any more designs at the sides, you can also. Okay. You can draw any more design at the side, but make sure you are done with your you are done with your writing. Then you can do your designs at the side. Is that okay? Alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, children. That is all for today. I'm going to see you during my next video, okay? Alright, I see you next time. Bye bye. Good job, K1s. Everybody say good job, K1s. Good job, K1s. Okay, bye-bye. See you next time.